men's healing retreat. What can someone expect at a men's healing retreat? You know, I, I, my goal with this is to empower men to be honest and loyal to their emotions. Uh, we've been programmed for so long to be macho, to be tough, to be this or be that, and all, all, the, all the while suppressing who we are as men. Uh, we want to show emotions. We want to be vulnerable. We want to be heard. But society has framed us in a different way, and so we're not being true to who we are. And so it's a safe space we've opened up to everybody else that would like to join to open their hearts and see, hey, I got some scary stories too, and that I see you, and that we can do this together. So that's what I'm trying to help all obtain and see, that you do have permission. You just got to simply give it to yourself. Who is a good candidate for men's healing? Every single man. And why is that? Because throughout this life, we all experience trauma, heartbreak, failure, you know, unobtained expectations. And it weighs on us in more ways than one, because as men, we're told that we have to be a certain way, act a certain way, show a certain way all the while. And in effect, we carry, carry that in the most negative, toxic way as possible. And it's depleting and we're carrying so much more than, than what we can truly pull. And so my goal with my work is to help men understand that first and foremost, they don't need to wear it. And second, how can we turn that into a superpower? If you can get one thing across to men, what would it be? That it's time. That it's time to give yourself permission to heal and be bigger than you've ever been. That yeah, we do have goals to obtain and success we want, but we're so much more than that. Yeah, we're protectors in a lot of way, but we need to show up for ourselves first. And to do that, we need to heal, to create that clarity for ourselves and for others. And as, as more men give themselves permission to heal and absolutely step into the work, they're setting the example for others that it's okay to be a little bit more vulnerable and to talk about your shit. What would you say to the men out there that are scared to heal? That's a tough one. Um, Cause healing has to be voluntary. You can't force anyone into heal healing. It's simply scary because it's unknown. And sometimes we have to fill back into some things we felt long ago. The only way to heal, heal our way out of it in my eyes and so you simply have to make the decision of, is this a life you want to live? Or is perhaps there's something greater and bigger out there prepared for you, if only willing, you're willing to step into it. What has been your biggest takeaway with the work that you are creating for men and for men to heal? My biggest t takeaway It's simply knowing that we all have a divine purpose so much bigger than us. And it translates energetically through all of us. There's a lot of bad out there, but there's so much good. There's so many great men and women. Women do a better job at talking about their problems and healing. They're usually the one that forces their husbands into, into counseling even if the man doesn't want to go. The feminine energy, divine feminine energy, is willing to step into healing. It's the masculine, the toxic ma masculinity that kind of resists. But how powerful and how beautiful it is when a man recognizes that he can and will get better. And how powerful and beautiful it is when he helps other men step into that as well. When a man can surrender to this work and understand that he has work and the work will always continue, what are the benefits to him and his family? So yeah, the work is always there. Once you feel you've healed through one thing, something else comes up. Maybe recent, maybe from childhood. But the more we heal, the stronger and more powerful we become the more patient, more loving, more compassionate, 
the more understanding. And that only resonates throughout the family and the household. There's more peace. There's not so much angst and worry when dad comes home. Is he gonna blow up on me? Is he mad? Do I have to tiptoe around dad because he's had a stressful day at work? It's actually the contrary. Children will warm up to you because they feel energies more than anybody. And they'll know and feel the power of dad, that dad is not only big, but he's also safe. And that's something they get to learn at such a young age that they get to take on to their adulthood. And that's beautiful. <laughs>